हेलो माय सेल्फ कल्पना चौधरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट फ्रॉम द टॉपिक सोल्यूशन This is one of the property that is colligative property from the topic solution. But let us see here what is mean by depression in freezing point. Now let us define depression in freezing point. It is the temperature at which liquid solvent, liquid solvent is in equilibrium with its solid state that is solid solvent the temperature at which liquid solvent is in equilibrium with its solid solvent for example if we consider water in liquid state when water in liquid state that forms equilibrium with ice that means here water in solid state and the temperature is called as depression in freezing point now here we know that at 0 degree celsius if we consider temperature here also 0 degree celsius temperature here when equilibrium exist there is coexistence of water as well as ice takes place and the corresponding temperature is called as depression in freezing point but one thing is very important here vapor pressure of this liquid water that is also exactly equal to the vapor pressure of that solid water that is ice here whatever vapor pressure exist although we are saying that liquid water that is in equilibrium with its solid state that is ice but here when vapor pressure becomes equal then only equilibrium formation takes place and here at equilibrium both exist water liquid as well as solid ice so here the temperature at which solid a uh, solvent as well as that liquid solvent when they are in equilibrium their vapor pressure should be equal then corresponding temperature is called as depression in freezing point now let us consider how that depression in freezing point takes place for example if we consider ice that means your ice formation that takes place near about the temperature should be 0 degree celsius then water liquid is get converted into its solid form that is ice then here if we add some salt into this ice here if we add some salt into this ice then what happens temperature of that solution solid plus solvent that ice solid plus whatever that solute is added which is salt that salt is non volatile in nature and hence temperature of the content that be that is decreased consider that decrease in temperature as a minus 1 degree celsius if we add again some amount of same salt in the same solution then also decrease in temperature observed suppose that is minus 2 degree celsius if we go adding that solute into the ice then here decrease in temperature observed decrease in temperature observed and that is nothing but depression in freezing point because here when non volatile solute is added into the ice then its temperature decreases and whatever that decrease in temperature is there that is called as depression in freezing point now we can illustrate this by using graphical representation for example consider the graph of vapor pressure versus temperature consider here on y axis vapor pressure term and on x axis consider temperature in terms of degree kelvin now we know that initially if we consider the curve for liquid solvent 
कंसिडर दिस इज द कर फॉर लिक्विड सॉल्वेंट बिकॉज यू हेव वी नो दैट वेन टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ दैट लिक्विड सॉल्वेंट ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज दैट लिक्विड सॉल्वेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉटर दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन प्युअर स्टेट that is present in pure state with increase in temperature vapor pressure increases and so this is the curve now here we have to consider as temperature decreases here we have to consider opposite case as temperature decreases vapor pressure of this pure solvent that is water decreases and that goes on decreasing decreasing and decreasing but at one stage there is sharp decrease takes place there is sharp decrease takes place in the vapor pressure when we decrease the temperature and here the corresponding temperature here this corresponding temperature is nothing but depression in freezing point or we have to consider that as a freezing point for pure water freezing point for pure water and consider that temperature as a t degree f this is the freezing point for pure solvent that is water how that is uh, observed here here when vapor pressure decreases vapor pressure decreases when temperature decreased for pure water that is pure solvent that is present in liquid state and here at one stage sharp decrease in vapor pressure takes place and here at this point the corresponding temperature is called as freezing point for pure water that is for pure solvent and that is denoted by t degree f now here if we add non volatile solute into this water then we know that when non volatile solute is added into pure water its vapor pressure decreases because rate of vaporization decreases and hence here the vapor pressure curve for the solution containing non volatile solute that always lies below the curve for pure solvent now this is the curve for vapor pressure of solution vapor pressure of solution that is nothing but water plus non volatile solute that is nothing but water plus non volatile solute and here we have to consider again the opposite case now here what happens here as temperature decreases vapor pressure of the solution also decreases and that goes on decreasing decreasing and decreasing and here also at one stage what happens here at one stage here sharp decrease is observed sharp decrease is observed in the vapor pressure of solution with continuous decrease in the temperature and here the corresponding temperature to this point where sharp decrease in vapor pressure is observed and that corresponding temperature is nothing but the freezing point for solution and consider that temperature as a tf now here from this graph t degree f that is the freezing point for pure solvent and here when non volatile solute is added into that water then vapor pressure decreases and hence here vapor pressure curve for this solution that always lies below the curve of pure solvent that is water and as temperature decreases vapor pressure of the solution decreases that goes on decreasing and at one stage sharp decrease in vapor pressure is observed and the corresponding temperature is called as freezing point for solution now here it is observed that here whatever this freezing point for pure water that is for pure solvent that is greater than the freezing point of solution that is greater than freezing point of solution and hence here change in temperature or change in freezing point that is given by delta that indicates change in temperature 
in freezing point so here delta tf is equal to we can write here change in temperature t degree f that is freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of solution consider this as a equation number 1 now here we know that here change in temperature that is observed and that is directly proportional to the concentration term that is directly proportional to the concentration term of the solution which contains non volatile solute and here as this depression in freezing point that depends upon decreasing temperature so this concentration term that should be molality and so we can write this equation as delta tf that is directly proportional to the molality of the solution that is directly proportional to the molality of the solution why because molality is temperature independent term and so here we have considered this concentration term as a molality of the solution and hence here we can write delta tf that is depression in freezing point that is directly proportional to the molality of the solution and hence this equation delta tf directly proportional to m here if we write this equation as delta tf is equal to kf this is proportionality constant into molality of the solution into molality of the solution where kf that is proportionality constant and that is called as molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant this kf is called as that is proportionality constant and that is said to be molal depression constant or that is also called as cryoscopic constant now here from this equation delta tf is equal to kf into molality of the solution we can have the equation for kf that is equal to kf is equal to delta tf divided by molality of the solution and hence here we can define this cryoscopic constant for the solution if molality of the solution is exactly one or we can say that when solution is one molal kf is equal to delta tf that is depression in freezing point observed for the solution when solution is exactly one molal and from this equation kf is equal to delta tf upon m we can express the unit for that cryoscopic constant here let us see here unit for kf because here delta tf change in temperature temperature is expressed in terms of kelvin and molality that is expressed in terms of per kg mole so here for kf units are kelvin kilogram per mole this is cryoscopic constant and this unit is very important unit for kf that is obtained from the formula kf is equal to delta tf upon molality delta tf that is expressed in terms of kelvin and molality that is expressed in terms of mole per kg and hence here unit for kf that is obtained kelvin kilogram per mole now here as this cryoscopic constant mostly we are using water as a solvent here we can have the value for this kf with respect to water solvent with respect to water solvent now here there is one of the formula to obtain the value of kf let us see here kf cryoscopic constant is equal to r that is gas constant here m1 that is mass of solvent into that freezing point square for that solvent divided by 1000 1000 into delta fusion h 
that is enthalpy of fusion and from this equation if we find the value for kf that is found to be 1.86 kelvin kilogram per mole and this value is for kf when water is solvent when water is solvent now here generally water used as a solvent so kf is equal to 1.86 kelvin kilogram per mole that value we have to uh, see here now let us see the next concept as we have obtained the relation for delta tf delta tf now delta tf is equal to kf cryoscopic constant into molality of the solution and hence from this equation we can relate we can relate that molar mass of the solute or that weight of solute with the depression in freezing point because here molality means here what is this molality molality is equal to number of moles of solute non volatile solute present in the solution that is divided by weight of the solvent in the solution and that is in kilogram now here we know that what is this n2 n2 means number of moles of non volatile solute present in the solution now if we consider w2 gram of solute having molar mass capital m2 that is dissolved in the solvent then the solution is obtained then here n2 is equal to w2 upon m2 weight of non volatile solute divided by molar mass of non volatile solute that gives us the value for n2 that is number of moles of solute now if we use this n2 value in the equation of molality then here we can write small m is equal to w2 in terms of gram if we consider then w2 upon m2 that is the value of n2 into weight of solvent present in the solution that is pure water now here if we consider all these terms in terms of gram then here we have to multiply by this equation by the term 1000 and so if we replace this molality in the equation of depression in freezing point then here we can write the equation as delta tf delta tf is equal to kf that is cryoscopic constant proportionality constant that is as it is into w2 that is weight of solute divided by m2 molar mass of solute into w1 that is weight of solvent present in the solution and all these terms are considered in terms of gram so here we have to multiply this equation by the term 1000 and so here we will get this equation as delta tf is equal to kf into w2 divided by m2 into w1 into 1000 and this is the required equation in which this w2 that is the weight of non volatile solute in the solution that is related with the depression in freezing point here w1 that is the weight of solvent that is also depends upon this depression in freezing point and so depression in freezing point is one of the colligative property and hence here today we have seen that depression in freezing point of the solution now we will stop here thank you